City Center. In this neighborhood, I've lived through 15 years of construction and destruction on a downtown street choked with the debris of progress. Clouds of dust barreling down the road like Mack trucks, clogging my throat like fur. I squint my eyes against the peppery sting of it, the painful watering, pray my way across the blind intersection, the soles of expired buildings like soft gray shrouds smothering the air. How soon we forget what used to be there. The eccentrics clapboard house with its yard of painted birdhouses, now a glossy condo. After 40 years of rising property taxes, he finally moved, died a month later. His neighbor across the street stuck it out a decade longer in a cottage next door to a nightclub. Weak roses straggling the barbed wire fence, her taxes so steep she canceled cable, couldn't afford the luxury of a new lipstick or a quilt for winter. Dwarfed by the forest of high-rises, she would patrol the street in front of her house, head wrapped in a kerchief, black dog slinking at her feet. Months after she moved, someone left a card, sealed in plastic, decorated with limp streamers, tacked to the developer's fence around her house with its drooping sashes and shattered attic window. Happy birthday, little greenhouse. <laughs> 